just you so know <laughs> see <laughs> but you, you know, and i feel like sometimes chefs look a little greasy because they're in the kitchen yes <laughs> oh yeah now we lost the light hold on i know that was different i was like let me try this setting but i think it doesn't that's the better there we go okay all right there we go okay all right what do you think? can you see me yes i can see you you look fabulous you're gorgeous 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 okay cool um you too okay so typically 2020 quarantine shutdowns chefs losing their minds restaurants are closing left and right you girlfriend extremely busy this has been this was your past your busiest year how is that even possible you know honestly joanna um i am such a passionate person um you know outside of the kitchen and inside of the kitchen right mm -hmm. so i feel like 2019 was like my prep year and like you know i was working out a bunch i got my like fitness in in line i lost like 22 pounds i was like strictly plant-based eating vegan all the things so i feel like um going into 2020 i was mentally prepared for you know I, it was devastating and a difficult year but i think 2020 for me um was a, as a place of healing you know i really got some time and personal space to work on myself and um not really only nurture the business and the restaurant and my staff which is all great but you know, yeah. when you're in a restaurant, you're pulled in so many directions, you put on so many hats. And I think for the first time, 2019 leading into 2020, like I was in a different in a completely different mindset than I had ever been in my entire life and career. Yeah, now I feel you. You also got a chance to work with Selena Gomez on her new show on HBO Max. You were teaching her how to cook. Listen, from somebody who doesn't know how to cook over here, like I see the kitchen and I'm like, ah, no, I have to do that. Um, it's a fun show to watch because you actually get to learn a little bit. How fun was that for you teaching someone and teaching Selena yeah. Gomez? I don't know oh my gosh, she's such a doll. Uh, Selena and I, I'm actually wearing her lip color. Ah. It's a lipstick, yeah. Um, she has a new makeup line. Yeah, um, rare. Fabulous, yeah, rare, exactly. Yeah. Um, which she is, she's such a vibe. Like her and I connected and her friends and it was so, lovely to be able she was actually that was the ver the first sort of virtual cooking um thing that i did outside of my apartment like i'd been obviously in quarantine and through the quarantine i shot a um a series call called uh plate worthy here in my in my place and it was like three gopros and you know shooting all of these um different recipes and it was a such a fun thing so if people get a chance to check out plate worthy it's on eater and youtube um so cooking with selena gomez that was the first time i had left my place in so long and it felt so good she had this huge sort of like projector screen and i had the projector screen in my plate at, you know and uh, we cooked together and i showed her how to break down a fish and she was so amazing she said that um the sauce that i showed her how to make was uh, the best of all the season. And um, it just brought the most flavor. And it's pretty simple. I'm such a sauce girl. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love sauces. I think it's such an amazing, simple Listen, way to elevate a dish, right? You're a saucy girl because <laughs> not only is Selena Gomez loving your sauce, but so is Shake Shack. They have a burger named after you because of your sauce. What's up, girl? You saucy. <laughs> right? A hundred percent saucy. I actually was a saucy in a two-star Michelin restaurant for most of my career. So mm -hmm. I learned the best of the best. Um, but yeah, uh, so my Shake Shack collaboration I did uh, two weeks ago. And um, yeah, and, and so it was our first West Coast collaboration from, you know, uh, Shake Shack being a, a, an East Coast brand. And they came over here, opened a few locations in LA, and I was their first uh, collab on the West side. So big up that. So and what, um, what, what does the burger taste like? I have a Shake Shack. Shake Shack fan. I have to be Same. honest with you, but I'm yeah. not a saucy girl. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Naisha. I'm, it's all I'm good. Like, I'm kind of like plain, you know, because I always say I got way too much going on. So yeah, I had too much sauce yeah. to it. But what does the burger taste like? Yeah, for sure. Thanks for asking. It's a, um, so my grandmother is a Korean immigrant. Um, yeah. She helped raise me um, with my parents. Obviously, I'm um, black and Korean. And so my grandmother, rest her soul um 
taught me the flavors of, you know, of where she's from, right? So um, I really think those were sort of the first like sort of root system that developed in me wanting to become a chef. Um, so the sauce, to, I actually take the sauce and and her spirit, and it's called um, an Isun sauce. So uh, I use that sauce to cook it into the patty of the meat. So it's like mm. not, it's not like super sauce. It's kind of, yeah, it is kind of saucy. It's like a, a, a fancy sloppy joe. It has like an oxtail marmalade on top. Um, but really the star of the show is that I assume sauce. So I cook the meat. It's kind of like the flavors of um, Korean barbecue, like kind of like soy and sesame and scallion, and garlic. And, uh, you know, so I've over time developed this sauce and there's right. an amazing prolific food writer here in LA who wrote about this sauce when I did it in a braised beef form. And it became one of top 10 dishes in all of Los Angeles. His name is Jonathan Gold. And um, so I've just always keep this sauce in my back pocket and hopefully one day I'll share it with the world. Well, I'm gonna have to try this burger. <laughs> okay, cause yes. you definitely made my mouth water a little bit <laughs> while you were talking about it. You just brought up your grandmother. You are multicultural. How much of that is in the kitchen while you're cooking? That influence of being multicultural. Oh my gosh, Joanna, amazing question. You know, I have to say as the legacy and journey of life, you know, I think that we all hit these sort of tiers of like self-discovery. Yeah. And, you know, and so for me, um, I came up in very structured French fine dining kitchens, right? So a lot of times my culture and my flavors, like my DNA were left for to be cooked as family meal, right? For my 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 colleagues, my, my team members, I'd, I'd make dumplings and make fun, delicious dishes um, for them. But as I've gone on in my career and, and learned, you know, now in my thirties, I'm like, like I can celebrate these flavors outside of like behind the scenes, you know, like I can make these dishes and, and celebrate who I am as a, as a human. Right. Um, and, and so I've been tapping more into those flavors of that. Right. So like sort of Afro Korean cuisine and, um, you know, the, the, the last time I did that was March, I did a dinner in Seattle uh, with a good friend of mine, Eduardo Jordan. And that was the last public dinner I did. And that was the first yeah. menu that I created saying this is Afro Korean flavors, right? So dishes like, um, you know, braised collard green dumplings, mm. you know, things like that, where it's like, you don't, you take, you kind of take two traditions, right? Collard greens of the African-American culture and then like dumplings of Korean mandu and you mash them up together. Like that's really fun. That's really telling a storyline of a human, right? Yeah. No, and yeah. it's, it's great to have a little bit of this and a little bit of that and kind of just- 100%. I'm a little bit. Some more flavoring is- A little flavor. <laughs> yeah, you need to add some flavoring to that, like <laughs> I like to say. Listen, girl, but you are busy. You're doing so much. You have a podcast, Happy Mouth. You have a nonprofit that you're working on. Are you going to slow down? <laughs> you know, oh my gosh, wonderful question. I uh, I will. I'm really good at vacationing. I, I'm like the. I'm like this. This is my vibe. I like tap in, go hard in the paint. And then I'm like, okay, be easy. You know, like that's you um, definitely what I, that's like how I like to work. <laughs> uh, how's the podcast going for you? Is it good? You're loving it? Yeah, you know, we're in early stages. We actually launch um, coming up soon here. So we've shot, or not shot, but like we've um, recorded. <laughs> I'm learning all about the podcast world. Yeah. We, uh, we've recorded um, a good amount of sort of practice episodes and um, getting our branding stuff together. And, um, you know, it's been really kind of released amongst friends and colleagues, but um, mm -hmm. happy to talk about it and share because I think it's inspiring for people to, to know and what to look out for coming up. So yeah. um, it should be coming out spring uh, 2021 called Happy Mouth. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, Based off of the name comes from the idea of amuse bouche, like in the French fine dining uh, mm -hmm. culture and cuisine, uh, you have an amuse and it's meant to sort of uh, be a small bite to stimulate your appetite. Mm -hmm. And so that's the same structure for this podcast. It'll be sort of 12 to 15 minute news segment where we talk about pertinent um, restaurant news, food trends, but small bites where you don't have to like commit your whole day to it. You're just like right. doing your makeup in the morning, put it on, you're done. Nice. I love it. I can't wait to listen to your podcast and Thanks. I can't wait to try your sauce. Make sure you come back on Six in the Mix. Tell me all about your sauce. Send me a bottle. I want to try it. Done. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I 100% will. <laughs> you are just a joy. Thank you so much. Wishing you the best Thank of you. luck. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks. Also, everyone just look out for me on Food Network. I just won an amazing battle called T Tournament of Champions 
uh, two nights ago. Congratulations, girlfriend. Thanks, girl. I'm keeping my eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> Sending you love. Besos. Bye. Bye.